In the last tutorial, we covered the first way to create your custom avatar by uploading a video to create a hyper-realistic avatar. In this tutorial, we'll cover the second way create your custom avatar by using photos. What's the difference you ask? Hyper-realistic avatars are created using your video, meaning they'll be the most authentic clone of your voice, facial movements, and gestures. On the other hand, photo avatars are trained on photos, so while they clone your physical appearance quite accurately, your voice, facial movements, and gestures will be generated by AI. Don't worry, they'll still feel quite lifelike. Ready to get started? Let's dive into creating your photo avatar. Head to the Avatars tab, click Create Your Avatar, and select Custom Photo Avatar from the menu. Next, upload your photos. For the best results, include 10 to 15 recent photos of yourself and with no other people or animals viewable. Upload a mix of close-up and full body shots. Try to include a variety of different angles, expressions, and outfits, but avoid photos with hats, sunglasses, or anything that obscures your face. Make sure your photos are high resolution, reflect your current appearance, and don't have heavy filters. Next, add some details to bring your avatar to life. Choose a name and specify age, gender, and ethnicity to generate the most realistic results. Next, check the box below to certify that you or the person you are uploading photos of are of legal age in your country. You've got the perfect custom photo avatar now, so let's add motion to animate and bring it to life. Select your custom photo avatar, click Add Motion, and choose between consistent and expressive motion. Choose consistent motion for simple, subtle motion that preserves the original look of your avatar. Choose expressive motion if you're looking for more specific movement that aligns with your prompt. New to prompting? No worries. Try to structure your prompts starting with the main subject and then the motion change. For example, avatar stands confidently in a boardroom. The subject, avatar, followed by the motion change, standing confidently in a boardroom. This should be your baseline phrasing for all avatar motion prompts. Here are three additional tips for prompting motion of your avatar. Use clear and direct descriptions instead of abstract or conceptual ones. For example, when you're trying to describe a person attempting to bypass security on a computer, describe the physical dynamic of the situation. Avoid abstract descriptions and instead use concrete example. The second tip is to avoid conversational or command-based prompts. In this example, please make a video about a cat walking away from her kittens is too conversational. Instead, a better way to describe this situation is a cat walking away from her kittens. This example is much easier for prompting systems to interpret and therefore will produce better results. The third and final tip when prompting is to use positive phrasing to describe what you want to see rather than what you don't want to see. Negative prompts do not work well and often have unintended results. So instead of saying, the scene remains unchanged, try fixed camera, the shot stays steady. Once you've entered your prompt, click add motion and wait several minutes for it to generate. And there you have it a fully personalized custom photo avatar in HeyGen. Whether you're making training videos, marketing content, or just having fun, avatars are a fantastic way to add a personal touch.